Hey everybody, welcome back to the road to Canterbury. We're about to pick up. Although, uh, one more thing I forgot um, at, uh, on, on Jen's turn when she administered last rites. Or I'm sorry, no, actually it wasn't on Jen's turn. It was on my turn um, when I pardoned, well, who was he? The, when I pardoned the friar for all his pride. If you pardon somebody for the sin that is currently, you know, number one on the church's most wanted list, that when that happens, the church moves on. So pride is no longer the top target. Nowadays, it's all about the wrath. And so people are scared of wrath, and Jen and I want to be chasing after, um, you know, tempting them into wrath and then pardoning for wrath because it's worth more than normal. And the nice thing is, as soon as somebody pardons for wrath, it moves on to envy. And remember, I'm very strong in envy. I've got two envy and an envy pardon. So I need to be planning for that in the future. But in the meantime, since wrath is where it's at right now, I'm thinking I want to monopolize the wrath game. There's a wrath pardon and there's a wrath sin out. And remember, Remember, I also want to try and keep this wrath out of Jen's hands so that she can't finish the wheel. Did I mention there's a lot of stuff to think about in this game? There's a lot going on. But anyway, so I'm sorry, I forgot to move him forward. Every time, you, and so when somebody pardons some, you know, one of these pilgrims for wrath, it'll move on to envy. So I've got to remember that. I, you know, this is actually a fantastic player aid. It's really great, but there's one thing that's missing. The other side, which has nothing, should have had a concrete breakdown of all the steps for pardoning because there's a lot of steps and you have to remember them all and it's easy to forget, like I did. I forgot to move that forward. Um, anyway, though, so we're moving on. It's my turn and I'm knowing I want to grab... Well, here's the thing. If I grab that wrath uh, sin, then I know Jen's going to grab the wrath pardon. But either way, I still want to grab that wrath anyway. I definitely think I want to do that. So, but in the meantime, I got to play a card first before I do anything else. Let's maybe start getting. Oh, but here's the thing. If I oh, if I play an envy card, then Jen will see that there's an envy card out, and she might try to grab the envy pardon, which means she would leave the wrath pardon to me. So that's kind of cool too. Maybe I should do that. It's kind of like a yeah. What the heck? Let's um. In fact. Um, you know, this envious, the envious Prioress, let's tempt her into her favorite sin, Envy. And now, that's good for me because I haven't tempted anybody to Envy yet. So boom, I'm on the wheel. I've now almost caught up. I've got three to Jen's four. I'm back in it to win it, folks. Tempt her into Envy, and now I'm going to grab the, the Temptation of Wrath. Specifically so Jen can't get it. Okay, and that was my turn. And now it is Jen's turn again. And, and, you know, and if she's paying attention, she... Oh, and a new card comes out. Ooh, muerte, death. All right. The poor, you know, the monk, he's doing our job for us. It's not, we haven't even tempted with anything, but he's just going to eat himself to death over there because um, that is now two examples of gluttony he has partaken in. And if I recall correctly, I think there's only two death cards for each color. So we know he is not... There's not going to be more surprises with him in the rest of the deck. I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. It might be three, but I'm pretty sure there was only two per color. All right. So, but we've got to keep drawing. And, all right, luxury. Two luxuries and a gluttony. By the way, if you ever get to the part where all three of these cards are the same, they get wiped and you redraw. You know, a ticket to ride style. Okay. So, Jen saw I grabbed that wrath. And um, so she knows she probably wants to grab this wrath pardon. But I've just now put the low-hanging fruit of envy. And she could grab... Well, anyway, she's going to have to play something first. Um... Now, here's the thing she could do. She could bring out her scrambled eggs and try to draw randomly and maybe grab that wrath from me. You know, and so basically, I hold up my cards, and you know, from my back, she can see, oh, I've got two pardons, and I've got three sins, and she could go fishing, and with only, she has a one in three chance of taking that wrath from me if she wants to use the scrambled eggs. So she could get that wrath back, because what does she need? She needs um, to, to win the wheel, luxury, wrath, and envy. Now, I don't know it, but she's already got luxury. She needs envy and wrath. And coincidentally, whatever she grabs from me, she'll get something that's good if she plays St. Benedict. Um, and then also, she has the choice. She could move the parson forward to envy or not. Her call. Um, let's see here. What is she going to do? <laughs> well, she's got to play a card. Does she want to play the scrambled eggs? Yeah, what the heck? She's going to do it. She's going to play the Scrambled Eggs of St. Benedict, um, which means she draws one card at random from any opponent and then gives them one of her own in exchange. And so she's going to have to give me something. What does she want to give me? Uh, she'll probably end up giving me the Gluttony because, well, because Gluttony, both of us have played Gluttony already, so it's not like that's going to help me any. 
Um, although, you know, put, playing Gluttony to this guy means there's a big, gigantic reward for pardoning this guy. If he has a third Gluttony on him, that's a big nine points again. Why is there this Gluttony right here? What is this? Oh, oh yeah, oh, and we, we, you know, I have the Wife of Bath, who's also partaking in a bit of the Gluttony. Okay. Um, right, oh, but this is her pardon. Let's see, and she doesn't want to give up this sin. Does she want to give up this greed? Because she could pardon that greed. Okay, maybe she's not going to play the scrambled eggs right now. Maybe now is not the best time. Instead, I think Jen is going to get some pardon action going on. She is going to tempt what the heck? She's going to tempt the wife of Bath into being greedy. Because remember, she was originally planning on having that guy, but then he died. So she still got the one-two punch. And sp specifically, she won't get many points, but she will get a cube on the wife of Bath. And it's important to get corruption in on the pilgrims as well. All right, so Jen drew a played a card, and now she will draw a card. And she takes the Wrath, because she knows I want it, or she takes the Envy, because there's just a quick, um, more corruption on that person right there. Ooh, that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Now, if she wanted, she could grab one and then give up her last rights token, play again, and grab the other. So it doesn't have to be a tough choice at all. But then she's throwing three points away, or throwing um, multiple turns in a row when she needs them badly. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And there's all these luxury building up over here as well. She could have a really big payday on tempting into luxury. <laughs> right. Oh, and by the way, she just played greed. Oh, but oh, but oopsie. By playing the greed, she's not moving herself forward on the wheel either. Maybe she doesn't want to play greed. Maybe she wants to get the luxury going. Although there's no pardoning for luxury, but that means she's so well. No, no, no. She'll go for the greed. She'll, she'll just stick with that. But she, I mean, she didn't get any further on the wheel, giving me the chance to catch up. Oh man, ah, wrath, envy, wrath, envy, wrath, envy. Or just another relic for more special powers, or drawing blind, or you know, or whatever. So many options. I think she will. She'll just take the envy. She's going to try and pardon for that. While the pardoning is good. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. And then a new thing comes out, and it is, ooh, double two idleness pardons. And, uh, and what do you know? I happen to have, well, I already have a pardon for idleness. Anyway, so it's my turn. I'm going to play a card. D -d -d -d. Let me just put all my cards here so I can see them more easily. All right, I've got two pardons, idleness and envy. Now, this is interesting. I could, I mean, I'd like to get this envy on here so that when I pardon... Uh, it'll be worth more. But here's the thing. I, Jen just drew an Envy card. If I don't pardon this Prioress for Envy now, Jen will do it because I saw her get the card. So I think I'm going to jump the gun and I am going to issue a pardon to the Prioress. And the Prioress says, oh, thank you. It's really weighing heavily on my mind. Um, but you know what? I haven't been very... I've only been a little bit envious. So since it's only one and Envy is currently not the in vogue sin, uh, that means I only get one buck for this. So. You know, it's not a lot, but basically Jen, you know, um, uh, pushed my hand because she grabbed an envy herself. So this gets discarded, and I get to put one cube on here, so I'm working on the area majority of this company as well. All right. Um, oh, by the way, and when I pardon, I forgot to do this earlier with the pride. When you pardon them, they flip. That means this cannot be pardoned again. You know, she could do more envy, and somebody might pardon her for envy again, but never this sin. She is... You know, her conscience is clear because I pardoned her for that. All right, and so now I got to draw a card. All right, you know, I'm thinking Jen's left it here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Wrath. So I'm going to get some Wrath going, and then I'm going to pardon for it. Okay, so there's my pardons, and here's my sins, my temptations. Okay, so it's Jen's turn. And she, she's like, ah, why did I grab this Envy? Well, the thing is, you know what? Sooner or later, she's going to be envious on her own. We're going to draw some Yellow Death cards. Oh, wait, did... Actually, did we draw all the yellow death cards? No, we only drew one yellow death card. So there's another yellow death card somewhere in the deck. So Jen knows she's going to commit the sin again eventually, and she'll get to, a chance to pardon her later. So in the meantime, what is she going to do? Let's see. So I think she wants to get back to finishing the wheel. She's going to go on ahead and tempt somebody into the sin of luxury. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and make it. The uh, Wife of Bath, who is pre you know, has a predilection towards luxury anyway. So that means Jen is now on the luxury. Wrath and Envy, and it's all over. Okay, oops, I forgot. I should have drawn a new card here. Greed. There's a Greed Pardon. Oh, there's a Greed Pardon. Which if Jen played it, she could then pardon. That's pretty cool. All right, so, anyway, so Jen, well, she doesn't tempt... Right, okay, hold on a second. 
Oh, there's so many things you want to do. Jen wants to get the luxury out, so she's closer to the wheel. But she wants to play this greed, because then she can pull this greed and pardon her for a double greed and get a lot of points. Oops, sorry, this is her pardon. Oh, she only has one pardon. All oh, right, so yeah, she's done one greed. Right, so she already has a greed pardon, right? She doesn't want another greed pardon. I misread that. Okay, so luxury, right? So it's the luxury, it's the cube for the luxury. And so Jen gets to draw a card. She already has a greed pardon, she doesn't care about another one. There's some more luxury, there's some gluttony. Jen's already been in the gluttony and the luxury business, so she's not particularly excited about those. She wants wrath or envy sins. That's what she wants up there. So she could draw a blind and just hope to get what she wants. She could get another artifact that would maybe you know, make her more powerful in different ways. Mm, all right, what is she going to... use that card to take your wrath. What's that, The eggs. The eggs? Oh my gosh, yes. But, actually, Jen is brilliant because even though she's not even paying attention, uh, she just came in to have some pistachios. She's been listening half, and she remembered that, hey, I recently grabbed Wrath and Wrath. She knows I'm going to go for that. Now would be a good time to play the Eggs of St. Benedict to take one of those Wrath away from me. And more importantly, whether she gets them or not, because she draws blind, she moves it on from Wrath to Envy, which she, you know, I, I just missed out on the chance for Envy, for pardoning, but, you know, Jen, she could still pardon for Envy. Yeah, that's interesting. So she's got that. So I think, yeah, I think she's going to draw a blind sin card because she's hoping to draw, if she gets Envy or Wrath, she's well on her way, particularly if she gets Envy because she can play it here and she gets, right, okay, so let's see what she gets. She gets an Idleness. That is not what she wants, although there's Pardons for Idleness, so that's not bad. Okay, so my turn. Right, and so now back to, um, right, so I can Pardon for Idleness and Pardon for Wrath. I want to get the Wrath on. So let's say the Gluttonous Monk has, oops, has partaken in some wrath. Right, and now that is my first dabbling into the school of wrath. So now I am at four on the wheel. And, let's see, so I've done that, and now I gotta draw a card. D -d -d. What do I like, what do I like? Hmm, let's see. I need to do luxury, so it'd be good to grab a luxury sin. I don't need to do gluttony. Um, right. And yeah, I think I will. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these luxuries so I can try to catch up on the wheel. All right, and then what does that reveal? That reveals more gluttony. Okay, Jen's turn. Now, as Jen said, it's time for her to finally deploy the scrambled eggs of St. Benedict, which means... Oh, no, no. Is she going to do it now? Yes, she is going to do it now because she knows next turn I'm going to pardon this wrath over here and she's going to take the bonus right off her knees. She plays the scrambled eggs of St. Benedict. She has the option, she doesn't have to, to move the pastor forward. She's going to do it. And I'm like, ah, oh, my chance for wrath. Well, she talked to somebody in the know, and they've decided, the church has decided envy is the biggest problem facing pilgrims on the road to Canterbury these days. So she's done that, and now she gets to take one of my cards randomly, and then she has to give me one of her cards, right? Draw one card at random from any opponent, and then give them one of your own in exchange. All right, so... She can see I've got some pardons. She can see I've got some sins. Now she knows, she was hoping to grab that wrath, but she knows I've already played it. I think she's going to grab one of my pardons and hopefully grab that wrath pardon so that she could be doing the pardoning over here. So she's going to grab one. I have no idea which one. Honey, pick left or right. Left. Jen chooses left. This is the one Jen took. Let's see what she grabbed. Ah, oh, honey, you chose poorly. She got the idleness pardon. Although that's not bad, because she has, oh, you know, she has, she's given herself another little one-two combo. Okay. Which means I breathe a sigh of relief. Phew! I've still got my wrath pardon. Okay. And now she has to give me something. Of course, she can't be giving me that back. What does she want to give me? Uh, da, 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 da. I think probably the gluttony, because there's no gluttony pardons. We've both done gluttony. Jen's going to give me, oh, no, this is a pardon. Because we could pardon the wife of Bath. She doesn't want to give me that. She'll give me the... All right, if she gives me the idleness, she can see it's something that I can play to get back on the wheel. If she gives me the envy, though... Well, she wants to... Right, oh, she doesn't... Right, oh, she has a greed pardon. Hmm, let's see. Envy does me... No, she doesn't want to give me the envy because she wants to play that. So, she'll give me the idleness... 
no, because that really helps me. She doesn't want to give me that. She doesn't want to give me the idleness pardon. But here's the problem. If you get a handful of pardons, that means you can't be pushing forward on stuff. She's got a handful of pardons now, and she really wanted that wrath. Oh, she is so bummed. What is she going to do? She will, and she doesn't want to give up the idleness because then, you know, this is no good. She's got to give up one of these pardons. Pardoning for greed, gluttony, or envy. And this person has been envious or greedy. This person... Actually, oh, there is no pardoning for envy right now. There's no envy on the board. So this pardon for envy, even though it's a good time to do it, is not particularly valuable. Jen's going to give me this envy pardon. And I look at it and say, ah! Well, I mean, it's good because envy's uh, hot right now, but I can't pardon anybody if they haven't partaken of envy yet, and nobody has. So, so Jen used her swaparoo, and now she gets to draw a card back. And what is she going to draw? She's going to draw a blind again, hoping to get a um, to get an uh, a uh, envy or a wrath, and she got another greed. Okay, so which she can pardon over there. All right, so that was her turn. Now she could go again, but she's going to save that for later. Right. Okay, so it's my turn. And what do I got here? Oh, yeah, all right. So keep my my pardons and my sins separate. All right. So I could still go on ahead and pardon the wrath. But unfortunately, now that we're at, I'll only score one point instead of four points for it because Jen moved that on. And I got this envy, but I can't pardon any envy because nobody's been envious. Um, but on the flip side, I'll only score one point, but hey, I'll get another cube. And remember, there's the, the uh, area majority for the companies and the, the board as well. I forgot, by the way, at the end of the game, whoever's put the most cubes over here also has a big payday. Uh, the most cubes on the road to Canterbury is 20 points, 10 points for second place. Each company is 15 and se 7 for second. And then on rights are, are worth 3. So, I got a lot of options here. Let's see. So, I mean, I could start working on idleness and grab one of these idleness pardons. Um, oh, no. Actually, I'm just going to get this and be going. Because Jen handed me this envy, she didn't know I had it. So I'm going to uh, make this person much more envious, although it doesn't do me any progress on the wheel. But hey, now she's envious, and now Jen has given me the pardon for it because she didn't know I had that envy. You know, all right. So, and now I get to draw a card. What do I want to draw? See, what do I need on the wheel? I need luxury, idleness, and greed. There are idleness, um, right, so there is luxury. I'm going to grab this luxury because I'm going to, oh, I already have a luxury card. I'm, I'm going to be able to play that. You know, I haven't gotten a, article, a relic yet. Let's me, get, let's me get one. The Snorkel of St. Jonah. Jonah's Snorkel will keep the faithful breathing just a little while longer. Remove one Sid card face down or face up. Oh, you know, and so this Sid card could go away. Um, face down or face up from any pilgrim and discard it. You may then play one partner Sid card. Okay. So if somebody's about to die, um, you know, I can uh, string them out for a little while longer, and then you know, so basically, I can do a two for one. I can pull a card off the board if that suits me, and then I can I can play this card, pull a card off the board, and then play another card. Okay, um, so that's interesting. And so it's Jen's turn, right? And I've totally forgotten. I'm just forgetting from turn to turn who's doing what. So Jen needs to get these things in play. She needs to get the gluttony in play. Um, it's interesting, you know, Jen is succumbing to sin herself of greed. She, should, she could just go on ahead and pardon this greed right now, instead of playing greed and then trying to get a bigger pardon later. Um, let's see, what else does she need to do? She still needs that envy and that wrath, and she has not found it. It has not come up. It's killing her. Um, let's see. But I think she will go for it. She's going to make this, uh, the wife of Bath, a little bit more greedy. And she does, that doesn't benefit her on the wheel because she's already done greed in the past. All right. And then she's going to draw. She's going to draw a blind. Give us envy. Give us wrath. Idleness. Ugh. Okay. My turn. So what do we got here? Um, so I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to pardon the prioress for envy. All right. So, um, and it's a good time to do it because there's this plus, thanks to Jen, it's the, 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 the scourge of the church. So that's two. I just scored four more points. I'll take a five and pull a one out of this little sack. There we go. So I just scored four more points. I got another cube. And now it doesn't matter how many things, you know, there, there could have been like five 
um, Envy cards that I was um, you know, partnering for, you still only get one cube. But now I've got two cubes on her. This goes away. This flips because it can't be pardoned again. And now I'm really nailing majority. When she dies, not only will one of my cubes go over here, but one of my cubes will stay on this company. And remember, if I have the most cubes on a company at the end of the game, I'll score a ton of points that way too. All right, so I did that. And so now I'm going to draw. What am I going to draw? Let's see. Uh, luxury, idleness. I think I'll go ahead and grab one of these idleness things to basically forgive for that illness. And let's see, that means a new comes out. Some greed, okay. Right, so Jen's turn. Okay, right, so finally, Jen is gonna pardon somebody. That's what her job is. She hasn't done it at all, but finally, she is gonna pardon the uh, the wife of Bath, who has been very greedy. And so Jen says, hey, I, you know, oh, oh, by the way, um, Envy, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. Envy has moved on to greed. Greed is the hot button topic. Perfect for Jen. One, two, three. That's nine points Jen scores now. So you take a 10 and pull a one out of her little sack. Nice. That just fell right into her lap. So she, um, and this greed is pardoned and pardoned. And even though she effectively did three pardons worth of stuff, she gets one cube on the Wife of Bath. And now gluttony is the hot button topic of the day. All right. So that was pretty cool. And so now Jen, and that's interesting. Uh, gluttony is the hot topic. Jen has a pardon for gluttony just sitting there waiting. And this uh, monk has been gluttonous twice of his own volition. We didn't even tempt him to do it. So next turn, Jen can pardon him, get a cube there, and get nine more points. Oh, how perfect is that? So Jen's very happy. In the meantime, she's just going to keep on bobbing for envy and wrath. Death! Muerte! Okay, death. It's blue. So, the uh, wife of Bath has just considered this, con con done her favorite sin, luxury. So, she, there's two luxury waiting to be pardoned over here. And there's only two cards away from her death. And currently, Jen would very much like her to die because she's got the majority in this company. So, she would score the four points. Okay. Oh, but we got to keep drawing. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. That's what Jen drew. She was just drawing and she drew a death. Come on. She wants... Um, show me wrath! Bum, 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 wrath. Oh, Jen's going to get that wrath in place, so she's very close to finishing that wheel. Okay, my turn. Lee -dee 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 -dee, a pirate's life for me. Okay. If I could um, pardon gluttony right now, I would love to do it. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, what do I want to do? I could use my snorkel and pull. Let's see, would there be any card I want to pull off the board? Since I can't... Um, Pardon gluttony, and there's no gluttony up here. I am worried about this. I could pull one of these gluttonies off. Because, you know, if, if I have a photographic memory, I might remember that earlier in the game, Jen grabbed this. And if I remember that she's got that, then I would definitely want to pull one of these off the board. Now, I'll be honest, you know, Jen and I, we, we don't count cards. You know, you do tend to forget over time. Um, but that is something to bear in mind. I mean, this game is definitely, for, if there's somebody at the table who has an eidetic memory, you're going to be a big disadvantage because it's public information what everybody draws, unless they draw a blind. Um, right, so what am I going to do? Do I want to use the snorkel? Hmm. If I'd be worried about her dying really quick, but I'm not. The interesting thing is, if I play any card on her, then Jen could play the final card and do last rights again. I don't want that to happen, certainly. Let's see, what do I want to do? I want to pardon somebody for idleness. Nobody has been idle yet. And bold, but yeah, I want to play this idle because I haven't actually gotten it and go. So I'm going to, I'm going to, let's see, if I play it over here, then that means Jen's going to get last rights. That's no good. Let's go on ahead and visit our, um, the old prioress again. I have tempted her into the sin of idleness, which means I'm on the board for idleness. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Jen's got one, two, three, four, five. We're all tied up on the wheel. Um, although, you know, actually, I don't think I'm really that interested. I mean, Let's see. Actually, yeah, because I've already got two cubes, it's going to be the monk instead. Because when I pardon him, I'll get a cube on him. I've already got enough cubes over here. Or no, maybe. Oh, see, I want to be here because I want to get a cube on the Wife of Bath. But if I put one here, then I know... And then I know Jen would... Oh, there we go. That's a perfect use for the snorkel. I'm going to use the snorkel right now. And that means I'm going to remove one of these. Let's just get rid of one of the face down ones. And um, now she's not near dying, and I can go on ahead and put the idleness on her. And so I have not, um, oops, I have not fed Jen a, a last rights opportunity. 
So I played it, which allowed me to remove one, and then let me play my own. And so now Jen, if she plays one here, then I get last rights. But in the meantime, I have, because I want to compete. I am now by, you know, forgiving her or pardoning her for her idleness, I will get a cube on her and, and we'll be competing. All right. So anyway, oh, and that's interesting. I drew, I played two cards. So now I get to draw back up two cards. I get to draw two cards in my hand now. What do I want? See, I already have, do I want to pardon anybody for greed? Nobody's been greedy, so these pardons are no good to me. I already have a pardon for idleness, so I don't think I want any pardons. Do I want a um, gluttony, luxury, gluttony? What do I need? I need greed, because greed is good, and luxury. I need greed and luxury, but I already have the luxury. So I'm going to draw a blind, and hopefully I'll get that greed. <sighs> greed is good, everybody. Okay, I, if I can get these two played, I could actually beat Jen on the wheel. All right, and, but I, I still, I only have four cards. i got to draw one more. What the heck? I'm going to draw a relic. The Riding Quill of St. Anselm. Uh, oh, let's see. Add one cube in your color to any active pilgrim or any space on... <gasps> wow. That's very nice. That is an excellent, excellent um, relic. Okay, so now it is Jen's turn. And she will... Right. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so Jen will pardon the monk for wrath. All right, and so he's only committed wrath once, so it's not all that great. She's only going to get one point for that. But more importantly, she'll get a cube on him. And Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not just one point. Durr. Because wrath is in... Oh, wait, no. Is it wrath in season? No, wrath is in season. Gluttony's in season. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, she wants to pardon some gluttony somewhere which is over here or over there. Right. I'm sorry, she's not pardoning Wrath. She's pardoning the big old gluttony. This is going to be a big one. So, she's going to pardon the monk for all his gluttonous ways. He's done it twice himself. Plus, it's a very bad thing. So, that is nine points going Jen Wei. So, she just got grabbed a ten-pointer, pull a one out of her sack. She just got ten points. She gets a second cube on the man. These are now pardoned. They cannot be um, pardoned again. And, uh, right, and so that was her hand. And so now she gets to draw again. Okay, and she's still looking for envy. She still needs that, so she's just going to draw blind again. And she gets more idleness. So she could go for a really big, long sting with idleness. Okay, so that was that. And now it is my turn. And um, I want to I get that wheel. I want to score that 20 points. So let's do it. Uh, I, need my, I need to play my greed, and I need to play... My luxury. Where am I going to play these? If I play either of them to the uh, the wife of Bath, then I'll be handing it to Jen. So I don't want to do that. Oh, whoops. And by the way, oh, we've moved on, by the way, to idleness. So we're in idleness town. I want to get these things for the wheel, but I could play idleness now. And I'd only be um, forgiving her for one idleness. So it's only one point, but I'd get a cube on there. No, but it's two. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to forgive her for idleness. That's, I, 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 these can wait. These can wait. I mean, I've pretty much caught up with her, and I, I've got the cards I need. I can see she's still drawing blind, so I know she's still... All right, so I'm going to play idleness. Or I'm, I'm going to forgive her for idleness, rather. And um, so that means I put a cube on the wife. I've forgiven her for idleness. I, one plus two means I just got two squared, which is four points. One, two, three... Right, okay, that goes into my secret stash. And um, idleness moves on to luxury. Luxury is the thing to pr um, forgive now. And so I gotta draw a card. <sighs> Let's see. Um, right, what do I wanna do next? Do I wanna forgive for greed or idleness? Is there anybody who's been greedy or idle? I've already just done um, idleness here. There's nobody who's been greedy. So none of these are particularly exciting. Now here's another thing too. If at all possible, you want to make sure that you have more sin cards in your hand than everybody else. Because, say in the case of this, if the wife of Bath, if we draw it and it would, you know, and she ended up getting two death right now, which uh, she wouldn't, but you know, say she died right now, we're tied. The tiebreaker for whoever was the most corrupting influence goes to whoever has the most sin cards in their hand. So strictly speaking, and I can see Jen's got four sin cards in her hand, and I've only got three. No, I've only got two. As I, um, so yeah, I might want to just draw some sin cards. Just so I can kind of catch up, so I can um, hopefully do the tiebreaker there. So, 
If that's the case, would I draw a luxury or a gluttony? Let's see. Well, I cannot pardon either of those things. And I know Jen keeps drawing blind. But you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to draw a relic. I just want more power. Draw three cards. I play this. Draw three cards from any single deck and keep one. Discard the rest. You may then play one pardon or sin card. Wow. That's very cool. Okay, that, um, that's very nice as well. That's a lot of power I've got. Okay, so anyway, Jen's turn. What is she going to do? All right, she's got, um, she could pardon this guy for wrath, but she's already got two cubes on there. I don't think she cares about chasing another one. She really wants to pardon somebody for luxury, but she has no um, luxury pardons. And so she can start setting up all these idols, which she might as well. Who's she, who she going to set up for idleness, do you suppose? Um... And when is I uh, see idleness? Unfortunately, just went out of fashion because I I did one, and so Jen's got all this stuff, and she won't get the bonus. But what the heck? She will go on ahead and um, tempt him into idleness. Wait, no, no. She needs to tempt him into wrath so she can finish up the wheel. She'll tempt him into wrath. So now there's two wrath on him, and this is her first wrath. So she is one away from completion on the wheel. And now she draws. She says, "Show me the envy," and it's death. Um, so that was more Sin of Luxury from the Lady of Bath. Wow. And now, here's the thing. Um, there's only one card. If I play the card, I will administer Last Rites. And Jen's like, oh no, that just fell into my lap. And so Jen is going to call in her favor with the church. But at the end of her turn, first of all, she draws back up. Right, oh, and so she's still drawing. She's still trying to get that Envy card. Another Wrath card. Okay. So she's going to play this. She gets to take another turn now. I would have loved to have delivered last rites, but Jen did it so that she will now play a card to the wife of Bath. And um, let's see, what else she'll play? She'll play some uh, some wrath. Okay. And oh yeah, she's already done wrath, so she doesn't do anything there. But she has died. Now, um, you know, Jen at the end of her turn, she draws back up. She's once again gonna try and get some envy, and she gets some green death. All right, who's green? So the monk just cannot stop eating. Well, I guess, okay, yeah, I was wrong. It's not two. There are three death cards in each color. So the monk has just, um, you know, he's been gluttonous again. So Jen's got to keep drawing. Envy! Unbelievable. All right. So um, now at the end of Jen's turn, because she prolonged her turn, hey, you know what? She, um, she was the one who administered last rites. She gets this thing. This character dies. All these cards go away. And we have an interesting situation. Um, all right, so uh, we are tied. Who breaks the tie? Like I said, whoever has the most sin cards. Jen has four, I have two. So Jen breaks the tie. She comes up here and she is now on the road to Canterbury and she just scored four points. Um, there's a five. And let's pull a one out. All right. So, um, right. So, remember, there's 20 points for whoever has the most cubes here at the end of the game. And so, Jen, and she got four points for that. She's in the running for that. And now, but unfortunately, what that means is, since Jen had to move her cube up there, she has left the wife of Bath, who has died and is being carried by this company. And I now have the majority of cubes on this company because my cube stayed behind. And that means if I have the majority at the end of the game, there's 17 points for me here. All right. Um, and also, Jen held on to her first rights and didn't give it to me. And now it is my turn. And um, wow. And we continue. And you know what? I think, I think I'm going to stop right there because you've seen a little bit of everything. The game continues. There's always lots of one-upsmanship. There's always lots of surprises with um, you know, the death cards popping up. And suddenly, somebody is on death's door when you weren't expecting it. And you make a double move. And you've got all your special powers that let you do all kinds of stuff. And at the end of the game, there... Um, what, what, what is the split here? Um, for each company, it's 15 versus 7. So there are, there are 8 points, effectively, in a 2-player game for each of these regions. There's a 10-point split for having this region. The first player to finish the wheel, that's a 10-point split. So there are tons of big points to be had on offer for all these different majorities that are going on all the time in this game. And uh, and then, of course, you also pull all the money out of your bag that you've been accruing throughout the game. And so you add that to all your in-game majorities, and somebody is going to be the winner. Somebody is going to be the best damn partner 
on the road to Canterbury. And that's it, folks. That was the game, Road to Canterbury. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen and um, you know, follow the link in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.